This is the iRobot Roomba versus the Bissell Pet Robot. Alexa, clean the house. If I had hands, I would gladly help. Alexa, can you please ask Roomba 692 to clean the room, please? Okay. Okay, so both the Roomba and the Bissell work with Alexa commands, which is really cool. Okay, cleaning power. They both seem to be about at the same level when it comes to cleaning performance. They both did a great job. I was happy with both machines. Both can figure out if there's a cliff or stairs nearby and they know not to go near that. Now, I was really worried that I would have to babysit both the machines a lot and make sure they don't get stuck or jammed on anything, but actually, they're really good and really smart at getting out of their own complex situations, and I was really impressed by that. Another feature I really loved about both machines is they both are really low to the ground, so they can get under co couches and uh, low tables and things like that. They're about the same height, so you can see they both have no trouble getting under those grungy areas in the under the couch. Okay, now the actual filters. You can see they just pop out like that. Now the Roomba only has one dry filter and the Bissell comes with a dry filter and a wet filter. So you can mop or you can just vacuum dry. So the Roomba only has the dry and the Bissell has the wet. Now in terms of the cleaning system, it actually, they're very identical. They're very similar. There's a three stage cleaning system. There's the roller brush. And then there's two little funny brushes that stick out the sides to get in the corners. One of the features that really impressed me too is this home feature. When the battery runs low, it just knows to go home. Both machines do it and which is a really nice feature. They both work on a schedule. You can program them on your phone if you like as well, which was really neat too. Okay, let's take a look at the Bissell wet mop a little closer now. Uh, you can see here that it's doing a mop job right now and those are the mop brushes right there. I thought maybe they would get jammed up, but they, they don't. They actually runs super smooth, the same as the vacuum. I was worried the mop would be a little more complicated to use, but actually it's super smooth. It just pops out just like the dry vacuum right there. Just comes out, you just fill it up with some tap water and some cleaning fluid and then you just pop it back in and you're good to go. So I found the Bissell to be actually much quieter than the Roomba. I actually could hear the Roomba making noise uh, vacuuming on the first floor when I was sleeping on the second floor. It wasn't a big deal because usually it vacuums when I'm not home anyway. However, uh, overall, I love them both. I would say that the only thing I didn't like about them uh, is that they do tend to get caught on wires. So if there's any wires, you need to make sure they're up off the floor. But other than that, um, there's so many positives that outweigh the negatives that um, I actually uh, enjoyed them both. And I think if I had to pick one over the other, I'd probably take the wet mop just because you can do a little more with it and it's quieter. But they're both great value for their money. And hopefully this helps you in your decision on your next robot.